Being deployed is scary enough for soldiers, but imagine going into battle with a helmet that wobbles around and a bulletproof vest that doesn't quite cover your torso. Or jumping into a Humvee and the pedals are just too far away. It is serious. That means being fit. Well, Ashley Searles reports on what they're doing to adjust the gear, the uniforms, and the equipment. That's the digital image fitting me for a new helmet. A thousand Camp Shelby soldiers are joining thousands more across the country, investing about an hour of their time for new uniforms. It's a $9.4 million Army operation, measuring the dimensions of a 21st century soldier. They don't look the same as they did in 1988 when the Army last took measurements. Around about an inch. According to an Army study in 2007, height stayed about the same, but the average active duty male is 11 pounds heavier, with an inch more on the waist, hips, and chest. That's when we really were like, wow, we've got a real issue here. It was clear everything government issued to the Army needed to get bigger. So when you start to look at the makeup... Project leader Cynthia Blackwell said they began really noticing problems in 2003. There were too many special fit orders and critical shortages in large sizes, especially in body armor. You could conceivably have a situation where a unit is not able to go, uh, or uh, not all of a unit is able to go because you can't fit everybody. In the military, clothes and the accessories aren't for style. Staff Sergeant Michael Williams has been deployed three times. Going to a deployment, you don't want to go in a, in a war zone, you know, with baggy or, or you know, or loose clothing. When you start talking about not being able to reach the foot pedal, because you're a female who has, or, or even a male with short legs, you have a tall, tall, tall torso, you can maybe do all of this, but you can't reach your pedal, so you can't stop your aircraft. It'd be a lot better to be able to just concentrate on running and everything else besides how your clothes are fitting and how you might look and be uncomfortable. The Army, which will likely share this data with the other military branches, is sending this contracted measurement pop-up shop to about a dozen bases, getting info on both men and women from the National Guard, Reserves and Active Duty, looking at an estimated 13,000 soldiers total. Once you've changed... You and they're being precise. A soldier comes in, fills out biographical data, age, ethnicity, race, etc., and puts on lightweight clothes. They'll get markings to keep measurements consistent to 3D body imaging scan and go to five stations that'll take data on everything from the head for the helmet to the feet for boots. GI still applies, but government issues smalls, mediums and larges are now growing to fit the soldier. If you're not comfortable, you're not concentrating on the task at hand. Ashley Searles for 7 on your side. Now, the project directors say they can't give a hard timeline for when soldiers will actually see any changes. This measurement portion will be done in April, but then comes the data analysis and actually producing them. But they're hoping to begin tailoring the gear and the uniforms within the next five years.